Hey, it's Andrew here with Tried and True Home Loans. Today, I want to talk about getting pre-approved in 2023. And what I want to go over is a few things uh, that we need to look at to give you a real picture of how much home you can purchase and the confidence to know that we can also get this loan closed based on the information that you share with us. Uh, first and foremost, we need to... Uh, find out about your current job or your income that's gonna be used to repay the loan. So uh, ideally we ask for 30 days of pay stubs uh, from your current job. And then we can take that information um, and calculate how much um, income you're gonna have month over month. Um, we're gonna then take that and then we're gonna deduct all your, the outgoing debt um, and create the DTI, which allows us to figure out how much money, uh, how much home you can actually buy. Uh, we need a job history of about two years at the same job or at least in the same field. And then um, we can base all of our uh, financial information off of your current income, as long as it's not declining. Uh, if your income for some reason is declining, say you changed, you, you've always been an hourly employee and this latest job you had is also hourly plus commission and that hourly pay is a little bit less, that might show as a declining income situation. And then what we would end up doing is averaging your two year work history or income history um, to average out how much your monthly income would be. Um, we also look at uh, your credit report. So for two reasons, one, we need to find out what your FICO is um, because we need you to at least qualify to borrow money. And the average FICO score needed is about 640. Uh, we do have some programs that drop down to 580, even 500. Now, oftentimes a lot of people will tell me, uh, I'm working on getting my credit better before I buy a house. And the difference of minimum qualification credit scores, say 640 and 700, is probably not gonna show up very much in the rate offered. It's not really gonna save you a ton of money trying to fight to get your credit score up to 700 um, or higher. Uh, and the time waiting to make that happen you're just going to be wasting your money on rent instead of paying your own mortgage. But uh, if your credit score is below 640, say it is 580, um, you still qualify. I have a loan um, that we can qualify you for, but you're probably going to pay a penalty within the rate because the lender is going to tag you as a higher risk borrower. Um, and so it's much worse being lower than the average, which is about 640, but it's not going to help significantly if you spend a lot of time and money trying to get up to a higher credit uh, credit score. So uh, we also look on that credit report, we want to look at all your debt so we can add that into the calculation for the monthly DTI, which ultimately helps us figure out the highest amount of money you can borrow. Um, so we can get you into the house that you want and you can be shopping for a property at the right price point for a home that you uh, can actually afford. The, the last thing that we look at is basically confirming that you have some sort of savings. Um, there is closing costs in um, with every loan and uh, we need to, we kind of estimate that at about two to 3% of the purchase price. So we need to ensure that you can cover those um, costs at closing, uh, you had the money in your bank account, um, waiting to pay for these things. And then, um, so if we can prove that you have good income, uh, to your job history, minimum credit score, uh, to qualify for a loan, and we can calculate all your debt, um, with you having a, at least a small amount of savings, there's a high chance that we can get you uh, closed for the loan that you need and get you into the house that you want to buy. 
you have more questions on even the other details and things um, about getting pre-approved or you have a scenario you want to go over, please reach out to me. I look forward to talking to you.